Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. How are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got this little goodness, um, little piece of goodness to show you. This is actually a journal that I've made for Andrea of Artie Mays for her birthday. Now her birthday was a couple weeks ago and I am a little behind and I've also got some more videos to show you as well of some um, beautiful gifts that I've been sent for Christmas. So, you know, keep in touch for that and also my mini journal kits that I'm going to be selling. But for now, um, I made this for Andrea. Now, I really wanted to make Andrea another ring bound journal. What I will say is I've only ever made two and she's got the other one as well, which is the one with the fairies. There is a um, video on my channel of the fairy one and I will put a link in the description below. But um, I'm going to make a bigger one. I am actually going to go for it and make a bigger one of these because I absolutely love making ring bound journals. Now this one here has actually become a lot bigger as in thickness than what I would anticipated. Um, but you know what it's like, it's so easy to go overboard, isn't it? Um, I've used Andrea's, um, now it's a winter kit, a winter's tail. And uh, I've also used her, let me think what it's called. I think it's her winter journal cards. And they are of images of um, vintage ladies and children and all, all wintry. But I know Andrea loves teals. So this is mainly like teals, blues, silver, whites. And um, I've absolutely loved making it. It's full of texture. I've used my usual wallpaper. Now I will show you, if I just get it out of the drawer, because I did find a piece. I'm nearly out of it. Excuse the rustling. But this is what I use for my winter covers. So as you can see, it's just a textured wallpaper. You can pick these up in B&M or B&Q. They do different ones. I've got um, also one with a rougher texture as well. This one um, is the same one as what I've used here. So go and grab a sample. These are fantastic for making anything wintry or anything that you want to make white and pristine. So anyway, let's get back to the journal. So on the front here, I've got an organza closure and I'll take that off so that I can show you all of the layering. So on the front, I've used this bunny image. Um, this is one of my favourite images. You know I love hares and bunnies, but this is a beautiful card in her um, whole kit. And again, just to say the kit comes in three different sizes. I've already said this when I made the journal for Jo. Um, but anyway, I'm still in winter mode at the moment. So I've got here underneath, there's fabric, there's cheesecloth, there's the gauze with the snow on. I've sewn all around. I've got corrugated white, it's more of a paper than a card underneath, some fluffy trim and here I've got some gems. I've got the wonder of winter which is one of the words that you can cut out of Andrea's paper and her kit. Here I've attached a little dangle that I've made to a, um, a what they called jump ring. I was going to pin it on but I haven't got a pin that's small enough or that matches in with the colour so I decided to just use a jump ring. And on the side here I've made a little dangle. Now I might put some of the trims and laces that I've used in this on here as well before I send it but I just wanted to get the video done. So I've just used a little piece of chain and I've just put different colour teals and blues and beads there and there's a little snowflake at the bottom there. So that's the front, I'm not forgetting the doily. And you've already seen the back, which is the wallpaper and I've put the snowy gauze on top as well. Now, Karen O'Reilly suggested the other day that, um, in her video about getting some gauze and using paint, but I'm wondering if modeling paste might actually be a better substitute. So I will try and have a go and see what it turns out like. You know, maybe to use a, t a teep to pet or something to squeeze little bits on, I don't know yet. So this is all thinking at the moment. Anyway, um, I've had to put really large rings on here because as you can see, it is huge and it was losing shape with the um, size that I had on here before. Sorry, I'm just 
tucking this back in because it keeps falling through. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I think I've got it. Okay, so the first page. So on the first page here, I've got a doily that I've sewn on as a pocket. And again, I've made another little dangle with some beads and this little, um, can you see, the little um, snowflake. <laughs> Excuse me. I am full of cold at the moment. And in here, I've made a little book. Now, this is the other wallpaper. This is a lot more textured than the one that I've just shown you. So if I just get it back out so that we can compare. Do you see what I mean? This is a lot of a, more of a flatter texture. But if you go and have a look at these papers, like I said, in the um, B&M's, B&Q's, home bases and pick up a couple samples, it is amazing to use. And I've used it for quite a while now. So that's that. And on the front here, I've layered up. Now, I did some mixed media paper, which was basically some card that I painted and sprayed and did lots of different techniques, stamping and uh, modelling paste and things. And I've used a lot of that background paper throughout this journal to make all of the, um, um, the tags and uh, some of the background pages. So as you can see, now these bunnies have been cut out of one of the pages. Um, there's normally a large stag here, but I cut the bunnies out because it's so beautiful. And again, there's cheesecloth, there's this beautiful fluffy trim, there's some gems all sewn around and inside. Now, this is a little quote book because what I've done with Andrea is, Andrea doesn't like to write a lot, but she loves her quotes. So I've actually put quotes and sayings throughout the whole journal. There's tiny writing spots if she wants to add anything or put a little picture or do whatever. But... Um, this is what makes it unique for Andrea. Could you excuse me a moment? I just had to um, pause it for a moment because um, my kitten, he's a bit of mischief and he was in the window and he was going to knock something out the window. So anyway, so this um, in here has got quotes for every page. They're only small, so I will read them. Inside here, I've used some of the gauze to create a pocket. And there's a tag that I've made on my background paper and I've cut out or ripped out one of the images from her kit and there's a little bit of um, organza here this says a delicate coating of frost every tag has got coffee dyed paper or a grid coffee dyed plain paper i should say or um, graph paper on the back so this is full of coffee dyed paper and the, this one says all that is gold does not glitter not all those who wander are lost the old that is strong does not wither Deep roots are not reached by the frost. I just love that. And then this one says, If winter has the courage to turn into spring, who says I can't bloom just the same? And it goes on. Winter. Days get colder, snow gets whiter, lights get brighter, sweaters get bigger, books get thicker, blankets get larger, chimneys get hotter, snuggling gets nicer, hearts get closer. And I think that's quite, um, you know, quite a good one for this time that we're in at the moment. Because in the UK, we're in lockdown. So maybe we need to just focus on those things there and, and try not to get so distressed about being in lockdown. Because it is hard, um, you know, and especially with mental health and everything at the moment. Um, today is a lovely sunny day, but we've had some awful weather. And it's really, really, you know, a struggling time for all of us. So I hope that encourages Andrea. Here we've got, we are all like snowflakes, all different in our own beautiful way. The stars are always shining for you. And the future lies before you like a field of fallen snow. Believe in the magic. And some of these I've got off Pinterest, some of them I've got off Google, and some of the quotes are from Andrea's sheet that she gives us a freebie on her website. I've just typed it onto vellum. And then adhered it to the tags and pages. When snow falls, nature listens. And that's that's actually one of the pages I've shrunk down. But this little bunny here, I cut him or ripped around him and stuck him there because he's actually down here somewhere in the actual um, page. And I wanted to include him. So that goes in there. <laughs> and we're not even anywhere further forward. 
here I've used one of Andrea's um, journaling card images. She is so beautiful, isn't she? Carrying a tree. I've used a Tim Holtz We All Shine. And as you can see there, again, I've layered it with cheesecloth. I've sewn around. There's pom-pom trim down. Andrea loves pom-pom trim. And for a winter journal, you've got to have pom-pom trim. These are some of my fabric snowflakes. And again, it's been layered with papers and... Um, bits of doily. There's tiny weeny little gems that I've placed around here. There's one up there, there's one up there and that's just a page in its own right. So I'll turn that over and on the other side here I've used, I'll pull the tag out. In the background is one of my background papers and I've put vellum on top. I sewn around it and then I put the vellum over the sewing so the stitching's even quite faded under there which I really love. There's a little flower uh, motif here with a gem, some of the gauze. This is a wool. Now I've got this beside me. Um, you know, it's amazing. You need to look at things in a different light than what they're for. Now this is um, a baby wool, I believe, and you can get it on eBay or most wool shops. It is quite expensive. It's about three pounds a ball, but if you think how much you get in a ball um, and how little you use, it is worth it. And I, I use this for snow because it's just beautiful and so snow-like. And then I've got some little uh, little blue teal trim there with some gems. And this is the tag. Again, it's my background paper with a doily underneath. This is one of Andrea's freebies for winter tail. And I've sewn around this in silver. There is a little flower brad and then I've got all this loveliness tied off with a little bit of um, blue twine. And on the back of this one it says, There is ceaseless charm to be found in the home of Mother Nature. As she dusts with snow, even the cobwebs sparkle in her magic. And I absolutely love that. I'm actually going to stick these quotes in the journal that Andrea gave me because it just speaks for it really. Now I'll turn this to here. So here I've made with vellum a little double pocket. The vellum already had like the snowflake images on. There's a little wallpaper butterfly here that I've punched out with a little bit of a gem. Pom-pom trim on the bottom this time. And we have two of her, well, two little tags. Again, everything shrunk down. So I've got all this bit of goodness going on up here. There's some glittery like um, string. There's some... Um, organza and it's all again tied off with some of this. Now I've used blue twine and silver. It's actually more of an embroidery cotton than anything else. But So this is a squirrel. I've ripped this image out and I've obviously I've shrunk it down. There's glitter on all the trees and this one says no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn and I thought that was quite an encouraging little saying. And then here we've got um, this is an actual journaling card that I've um, used this time and I've put a bit of the doily on top and made it all snowy. And there's all of this beautiful twine. I don't know why it seems to have got crushed down, but there we go. And it says, the future lies before you like a field of fresh fallen snow. Isn't that beautiful? So that goes in here. And then... That's right. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out because I only finished it yesterday and put it all together. So on this page, I've used some blue textured wallpaper, completely different to the one I've shown you. I'll just take this out of the way a moment. And I've used some of the wallpaper in the background to create like mountains. And these are owls from one of the journaling cards in the kit, which I've, I've cut this one out and um, just backed it with a little bit of thin card and stuck it down and then this one I've made thicker and made into a tuck spot again I got the wool with glitter on and this is one of the envelopes from the kit that I have shrunk down so much and in here I have got a little piece of coffee dyed paper that's been inked the backing of the envelopes is actually um, a polka dot bag can you see and I stuck that to the back of it before I actually glued the envelope together. So that goes in there. Then here we've got a little bag, little paper bag, but it's quite a thick paper bag. And I've just put this um, image on, which again is from Pinterest. It's one of my favourites of a lake with trees and the snow. I've used some of this fluffy pom pom -y wool for the snow here. Punched out snowflakes with glitter. And if I pull the handles down, 
and pull this out. So here I've used the same image that's on the front of the journal. This is a bit of, um, it's a thinner wool than that one that I've got here, but I can't find a piece at the moment to show you. And I think that was gifted to me from Andrea actually a long time ago. I've got eyelash trim under here. There's music paper. There's a bit of doily under there. Again, all this beautiful um, fluffy goodness. And on the back, it says the beauty of the winter sky. I thought that was lovely. And we've had some beautiful winter skies recently. So here on the back, we've got a tuck spot, which I've made with a doily and layering some fabrics and one of my little fabric snowflakes. And in here, we've got a little tag. He's from Pinterest. I just think that squirrel is so cute. And on this one, it says, nothing is as sensual as the first kiss of snow in winter. Isn't that beautiful? This is also um, an image from um, Pinterest. And I do use this one quite a lot. Um, and again, this has been layered up with papers and cheesecloth. There's Winter Soul, which I cut out from a kit, which I think is my Blue Stars kit. Uh, sorry, paper pack from Stamperia. There's also lots of fairies in that one. And uh, there's a little um, bit of, what's it called? Eyelash trim here. And a little snowflake with a gem. And in this pocket, I've made a journaling card. This is actually one of the images from Andrea's kit. I've put glitter on all the roofs and it's got eyelash trim and pom-pom trim and a scraggly bit of paper there. <laughs> and on the back it says, don't count the days, make the days count. So that goes in there like that. And here I've made a little pocket out of a doily. Now this doily was this colour when I purchased it. So I don't know if this is the wool they've used or whether it's been dyed after. And I've made a little beaded gem again there, dangle with the same snowflake, <clears throat> excuse me. And here I've made a tag. This is another bird image that's a freebie from Andrea's website. And I've again layered up doily and eyelash trim. There's a little bit of cheesecloth. There's the snowflakes with the gems and the sparkly stuff here on my background paper. And this says cold, cozy nights, warm blankets and hot chocolate. Isn't that the truth? Here I've got half a glassine bag. The other half is in here as well, but this is the top half. And I've just embellished it with a little bit of this tiny wool, which I was telling you about a moment ago. It says in the deep midwinter, there's a butterfly on there. And then in here, we've got another teeny weeny book. Now I've left this blank so Andrea could put some quotes in or something that she wants to write. Um, and this has been made out of um, just some paper. I think, uh, sorry, the inside has been made out of some paper that I had. And this is from one of the pages in the kit that I've shrunk down. I cut the little owl out and stuck him there as well. And it's all been sewn around with a tealy blue and some silver. That snugly fits in there. And then here, this is the back of the bag, which I've um, collaged, collaged rather, sorry, with some of my background paper. There's cheesecloth, there's bits of doily. Um, I love this little piece of doily. I haven't got any of this left anymore. It might have been a doily, it could have been a table runner. I can't remember, but it's so beautiful. And this is one of Andrea's images, again, all sewn around. And on this side, we've got... Um, this is a guest check that I've used and it was actually Ali Commons um, who inspired me for this little pocket because she made something for me in a winter journal that I did a swap with her quite some time ago now. I think it was two or three years ago. So anyway, on I folded it over basically and, and stapled it to make a pocket. So we've got a little bunny down here, which is one of the images, a little bit of um, organza ribbon and we have this tag in the front which has been made on some card and it's been layered with this fluffy wool. Um, there's doily there, there's lined paper. Again, it's got a little tag. It's been tied off with the embroidery floss. And that's one of Andrea's images. And I love that image, one of my favorites. And on the back of this one, it says, with peaceful wings unfurled. So that goes there. So I've got the other half of the bunnies here. And you just open this out 
there's some gems at the top it's getting a bit raggedy but that's fine so you can see the guest check there and then inside I've just put a piece of paper because this journal was so thick I did make tags to go in here and all kinds of things but it was just bulking out far too much especially with that on the front and then in the top here I've made another little tag with a ripped out piece of my backing paper one of the images from the kit this flower little embellishment and some of the organza ribbon so that all goes there like that and on this page I've used I'll take this out the snow gauze I've used a doily there's some music paper the snow gauze some of the wool and then these are little tiny flowers that I've got on a long long piece and I've stuck all these little gems on separately and as a little tip I come across this now this is actually for nails because all of the gems that I mainly use and I think I've got some here when I'm doing tiny tiny work I use nail art gems they're much cheaper you can get them in pound shop sometimes or B&M or you can order them on eBay but I mean these only cost me a quid and then I found this on eBay and basically this little pen comes um, with some sheets of this and it's like a it's like a, a rubber but it's sticky ish and all you do is you get this little pen and you push it in which then fills up this little cavity and then that's what you use to pick your gems up because I was doing it all with tweezers and it was driving me insane you, you can just imagine trying to grab one of these tiny little things with tweezers so I recommend these and they're just called nail art pens or gem pickers I think you can call them as well and they're very cheap I got two of these um, I think for a couple of quid and that was including the postage so you know you don't need a lot of that and this is still going um, so there's a little tip there for you okay so that's that and then this is the tag and again this has been made with my background paper one of Andrea's images again I've got this beautiful fluffy trim here which I think came from the range a long time ago and some little gems and topped off the same and on the back this says Winter sunlight is a warm old soul, excuse me, spreading love in the bitter cold. Lovely, absolutely lovely. And then here I've made another collage piece. This is an owl from Andrea's kit. And I've got the winds of winter blow, which is Tim Holtz. And again, as you can see, it's just layered with lots of different things. There's the snowflakes I've punched out, little gems. So that basically speaks for itself. And then on this side, I've got, um, I've used the gauze as a tip in and I've attached some lace and this beautiful trim at the top. And then on the bottom, I've got that snowy wool I showed you and stuck some gems on. And as that flips up, you can see this gorgeous stag. This is one of the pages from the kit and it says in the cold and frosty air. And I just left it like that. Now here I've made a little um, loaded pocket with a little polka dot um, paper bag and what I've done is I've just stuffed this with little shrunk down bits and pieces. So we've got um, journaling cards here which are from Andrea's kit and I've added some of the teal that I've used throughout this and this is backed onto the snow paper. And that says winter sunlight is a warm old soul spreading love in the bitter cold. And then here I've cut this off one of the pages and obviously again shrunk down with some organza stapled on. And this one says frost sparkles like a diamond. And then we've got this dear little girl and I love this picture. She's so cute in her snowsuit. And again that's backed onto the snow paper and it says some people are worth melting for. And I think that's a quote by Olaf in Frozen. My granddaughter um, told me that. And here we've got um, a sag tag. I think this is one of the pages shrunk down because, no, that's a different stag. I think it is anyway. And uh, oh, I've just realised I haven't put any glitter on that tree, so I will. And it says it's snowing. So I'll leave that one out and I'll put a bit of glitter on the owl one as well. I'll just put those over there. And then what I've also put in here, if I can just grab it with no nails, 
Um, this is just a little quirky gift for Andrea. In the UK, I think it was last year, the government did a, a set of, um, well, 50 pence pieces with there was Paddington and uh, Beatrix Potter. And my daughter was collecting them for me as she went out um, to school by day and she got change. And this is of Mrs. Tittlemouse. And I thought, as it's a little mouse and this is nature and winter and vintage and Beatrix Potter, you know, is a classic children's writer in this country. I wanted to include that for Andrea as just a little sentimental gift. So that goes in there. Um, that one goes in there and that one goes in there. I'll leave those out. And then on the side, we've got um, one of the postcards. I've actually chopped this down, added a bit of pom-pom. And you can see there's glitter on the trees and the branches. And this one says, And winter's stars do shiver with a wish to fall as snow, landing gently on the earth, melting into life below. So pretty. And I think I made this pocket out of another guest check as well. So over here, you're bearing with me. Thank you. <laughs> So here we've got a little tuck spot that I've made with one of the banners that comes from the kit and I've put a little um, glittery snowflake on top and this is actually a silver metal dra dragonfly embellishment and if I just take that out, can you see underneath I've backed it with this beautiful paper. I've used Andrea's Winter's Tales backing paper underneath and then this is an image from Pinterest and I absolutely love it and I've used it in winter journals um, in the past so I thought I'd use it in this and I've sewn around it with fine silver thread and then here I've made a little tuck spot just to give this a bit more stability in holding that envelope in with just a, a little bit of snippet and some gems so this is another of the envelope and these are the bunnies that I've um, been cutting out and putting in other places and that beautiful stag so this is an envelope from her kit. Again, I've actually used the polka dot bag. And this one I did put a bit of organza ribbon on because I couldn't get it out. And I thought Andrea might struggle with that. I don't know why this one was more difficult than the other. I might put a piece on the other one actually just because. So I'll leave that out to remind me. And then here we've got a little tea bag. It's an empty tea bag that um, I bought from, I think that was eBay. You buy them and then fill them yourself. I hadn't stained it because it's white with the snow theme. I've collaged up here and it says life is now. This is a little tiny weeny tag I've made. And I've put a bit of cheesecloth and a little snowflake on both sides. Again, we've got some silver going on down here. We've got some cheesecloth and that's poking out from the other side. That's part of a doily. And I actually used a piece of music paper in the back I have left the very back open but again with the thickness of this journal it was just you know I didn't add anything so here I've used um, a circle embellishment which these come in the winter's tail kit again my background paper snowflakes and on the back it says a cold and wintry night there might be some repeats of the quotes throughout but you know not to worry so we turn over, we're getting nearly to the end folks, so thank you for staying with me. So here I've made another beaded dangle and I've clipped that on as well with a little jump ring and that's got the little snowflake and as you can see it's a doily and I've used organza behind the doily just to give it a little bit more firmness and this is another little um, book that I've created, another little um, notebook, whatever you want to call it. It says grey skies, winter's days. This is a tiny little bunny um, that I've I've got the most weeny dies for bunnies. So I've, I've put one here and this is one of the circle embellishments from Andrea's kit. And as you can see, it's the very textured wallpaper I've used for this. And in here, I've just put um, little die cuts. So there's writing space in here for Andrea as well. So there's a little deer there or a stag. We've got a squirrel running down a mound of something here. There's another little squirrel. And then in the centre, and as you can see, I have sewn all of the pages in of all the little books. There's two little bunnies here watching this stag and this bunny having a little bit of a game of jump there. Tiny little bunny here. And another little deer. And a squirrel. So that's that one. 
and then here I've used um, some of my background paper in the very back and then I've just layered up with some vellum um, I think it's vellum no I haven't I don't know if you can see I'll push it down but I've used one of at the back of Andrea's pages there is glitter on those trees um, but the vellum's quite thick so it's very hard to see if I just do that can you just see underneath there and then I've put snowflakes on there's another little fabric snowflake some of this ribbon trim and I've made this one now this is a little bit different because I've used some of my snowflake embossed card for this and I dearly love this little bunny so I had to include it and on the back of this it says winter is a time for comfort for good food for warmth and for the touch of a friendly hand and for a chat beside the fire it is a time for home I absolutely love that as well and up here in the top I've got another tag a little postcard that comes in the kit and I've just used some of this scrappy doily and another little fabric snowflake with a gem I've stamped postcard on the back and it says kindness is like snow it beautifies everything it covers and that is actually the pocket is actually a glassine bag so that goes over like that let me just make sure all this fluff is not getting caught so I've put a little white feather in just because <laughs> and here I've made with some ribbon another little pocket there's pom-pom trim there's this little gems butterfly there's a little um, of the snowy stuff on top and then I've made a little um, journaling card here with one of Andrea's images and this one is of Angel, oh, that's an angel with her arm around a mere mortal. <laughs> Could be two angels. And uh, they're singing, I love that. And it just says, soft as the wings of an angel on the back. So I thought that was just so appropriate. I'll put that little feather back in there. They do say, don't they, that if you see a feather, a white feather, it's angel. It's just passed by. And here's the other half of that glassing bag. On here, I've got Winter Wonderland. We've got some trim down here with the gems and I've done a tiny bit of decoupage there. And this has been layered up. So if you can see, you've got some lace, you've got some silver trim peeking through and then that on this pocket and we pull it out. And this is one of the pages that I've shrunk down and made into a little journaling spot. Lots of glitter in this. And this says, one kind word can warm, a, uh, can warm three winter months. And that is so true. So that pops back in there and that's the other side again just a bit of decoupage and then on the last page I've made another little um, loaded pocket this time with a little spotted bag it's a, a lunch bag or a sweetie bag that's grey and white and in here I've put a couple Tim Holtz little cards which says frosty and snow this one says winter and magic and then in the top here I've got that squirrel again that I've made into another tag because it is I just love him and you can see the glitter and on the back it says a snowflake is winter's butterfly and I put a little snowflake on there All right. and then here I've cut, fussy cut out the little birds that I've shrunk down and put it on a bit of background here I think this tree in the back came from the page with the fox and um, and this one on the back says the wintry landscape. It's a little bit squished on there, but it's only a tiny tag. Oops, that fell down. And then down here, I've cut out one of the circle embellishments with a hole punch, uh, you know, round circle punch. I've heat embossed it with clear embossing powder, tied a little bit of silver on top, and it just says shine bright on there because it had to have something on there. So what was I going to do with these? Oh yes, they need to go back in. Was I going to do something to that? No, I, I can't remember. I don't think so. Oh no, I just took these out, didn't I? I've, I put the envelopes and all down there. So I'll stick those back in. Like that. To make sure everything's snugly in. And then there's pom-pom trim and then that's the back. So that's Andrea's gift. I hope she likes it. Andrea, I'm not going to put this video up until I know you've received your journal. Um, 
but uh, I really truly hope you like this. I've absolutely loved making it. It's been so much fun, and I must say I am I'm quite stressed in getting rid of this one because I I just love it. It's just so fun, and I love all the winter quotes. But uh, I'm going to write them out again and put them in my beautiful journal that you sent me. So thank you everybody for watching. Keep a lookout because I've got more things to show you and I'll be back very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now.